Hi there, boys and girls. Welcome back. Miss Walking Tire again. And this week, we'll be learning about the length of objects. So put your thinking gap on. Here we go. Here are our learning goals for today. Define the term length. Measure the length of an object. Through prior knowledge, use terms to describe different lengths of objects. That means you will learn what the word length means. You should be able to measure the length of something using other objects. And lastly, use words to show how something looks to you. Have you ever wondered how long something is? Like a really, really long rope? Or even the pencil you're holding right now? Well, if you have, then you've been thinking about length a long, long, long time ago. Length is how long any object is, or even how long a classroom space is. That's right. There are so, so many different things around us that we can measure in so many different ways. So here we go. When we measure the length of an object, we can use other objects. We can use body parts, and we can even use words to describe the length of something. Come on with me, put on your thinking cap. Let's take a closer look into each one. Measuring lens using objects. I know it sounds a little confusing, but stay with me. And we'll be measuring lens in no time. Take a look at the pictures. What do you see? Good. There are some flowers and some red beads. Are you focused? Hocus pocus, we are focused, let's go. The first flower is a daisy. We want to know how long is that daisy by using the red beads to help us. And so we will measure the length of the daisy from where it starts to where it ends all while using the red beans. You got that? We will count the red beads to see how long the daisy is. Count with me. We'll start by the green part and we'll end by the white peckle. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19. There are 19 red beads. And so we will now say the daisy is 19 beads long. Pretty easy, right? Let's practice some more. Let's move to this pretty purple flower here. Who can tell me where should we start and where should we end? Good job. We'll start by the beginning of this green stem to the end of the purple petal. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Good job. The purple flower is eleven beads long. 
our last flower is a red tulip. Wonder if any of you have those in your garden. Let me see if you can find its length. Remember to stop counting where the tulip ends. Go ahead, try it for yourself. What did you get? Let's see, I'll help you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Did you get fourteen? Give yourself two pats on the shoulder. The red tulip is fourteen beads long. And just like that, we have learned to measure objects using other objects. Let's move on to another step, using body parts to measure and find the length. Let's watch this short video as I explain to you how this works. You start with the tip of your toe and end with your heel. The girl is measuring the length of the classroom. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That classroom is 20 foot span. Now, we must remember with this step that it all depends on your feet size. What do I mean by that? Well, if I use my feet, which is bigger than your feet, do you think it would be the same thing? No way. It would be the length based on my feet size. And when you do it, it's going to be the length based on your feet size. Are you having as much fun as me? I hope so. Here's another amazing part about using body parts. You can use other body parts like your arms, like your hands, and even your fingers. I've even seen some people measure things using their toes. Oh my gosh. So you believe you can describe the length of something by just looking at it? Yes, that's right. By just using your eyes, and of course using words that you already know, you can give the length of an object. Here, the boy and the girl are both holding ropes. Of course, if you look at those ropes, you can see that they have different lengths. The boy's rope is long. The girl's rope is short. And just like that, we have described the length of those ropes. Here are a few adjectives we can use to describe the length of something. Long, short, longer, shorter, longest, shortest. Okay, boys and girls, let's recap. We have learned that we can find the length of objects by using other objects like beads and even blocks and paper clips. We can also find the length of objects by using body parts like our hands, our arms, our feet, <laughs> and even our toes. And lastly, we can look at objects and say whether they are long or they are short.
because that's describing their land too. Well, boys and girls, we're almost done here. But before you go, I saved a little treat for you. We are going to learn a short song. Got it? Short song? <laughs> I just told you the length of our song. Now you have to listen very carefully so that you can sing this song and remember this every time you want to practice length. You can measure things by using paper clips. You can measure things by using little sticks. You can measure things with body parts and say that things are long or short. Do all these things by having lots of fun. One more time. You can measure things by using paper clips. You can measure things by using little sticks. You can measure things with body parts and say that things are long or short to all these things by having lots of fun. I hope you had fun today, boys and girls. Until next time, see you later.